Hi everyone, this is Irina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna learn all the noun endings in the accusative case. In my opinion, it is the most difficult case as it can be easily mixed up with the nominative or the genitive cases. It responds to the questions of whom and what. Of whom? Кого? What? Что? The accusative case represents the object of an action, and this is what it characterizes among the other cases. For example, in the sentence I love my brother, the noun brother is written in the accusative case, because there is an action of love towards it. Let's look at how the sentence is written in Russian. Я люблю своего брата. Я люблю своего брата. In order to be sure about which case to use, it is necessary to know which additional questions should be used in the accusative case. As you know, in the genitive case, we ask the negative questions. Who we don't have or what we don't have, right? In the accusative case, we ask who do I see or what do I see? So here we focus on the verb to see and this is the difference between the genitive and the accusative cases. The genitive case of what? Чего? Of whom? Кого? Who we don't have? Кого нет? What we don't have? Чего нет? We don't have your bag. У нас нет твоей сумки. The accusative case. Of whom? Кого? What? Что? Who do I see? Кого я вижу? What do I see? Что я вижу? I see your bag. Я вижу твою сумку. Now let's look at all the noun endings in singular form in the accusative case plus some examples. Pillow Подушка, подушку. Мам, мама, маму. Си, море, море. Сан, солнце, солнце. Ок, дуб, дуб. Глаз. Стакан, стакан. Carpenter. Столяр, столяра. Mud. Грязь, грязь. Lynx. Рысь, рысь. Я читаю. Очень интересную книгу. Я читаю очень интересную книгу. Он каждый день смотрит телевизор. Он каждый день смотрит телевизор. As you can see, many endings still the same. In the first type of nouns declension, the endings change. In the second type, they change only if we use the animated nouns. And in the third type, nothing changes. Now, in Russian language, all the nouns can be divided in two groups. The animated and inanimate or lifeless nouns. So, such nouns as mom, dad, grandfather, doctor, carpenter, electrician, singer 
are considered to be the animated nouns. On the other hand, such nouns as book, table, tree, sun, window, camera, piano are the inanimate nouns, okay? So, with the nouns in singular form, everything was quite easy. Now, let's look at the noun endings in plural form with some sentences. The noun endings in plural form in the accusative case are the same as they are in the nominative case. For example, cars, машины, машины, thunderstorms, грозы, грозы, towels, полотенца, полотенца, trees, деревья, деревья, windows, окна, окна, houses, дома, дома, helicopters, вертолеты, вертолеты, nights, ночи, ночи, daughters, дочери, дочери. Она всегда берет с собой две ручки. Она всегда берет с собой две ручки. Они хотят купить новые стулья. Они хотят купить новые стулья. Very good, guys. Now you know how to use four cases of nouns in Russian language. We have only two left and we'll study them in the following lessons. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. See you soon. Пока!